than 12 hours, body camera footage of a deadly police tasing is set to be released. We told you in August how Johnny Holman died after an altercation with an Atlanta police officer during a traffic stop. Atlanta News First, Chelsea Bimefor is live downtown. And since the death, friends and family, Chelsea, have been calling for justice and transparency in all this. Yeah, and we're expecting that video to drop around 9 a.m. tomorrow. Tonight, in preparation for that event, Johnny Holloman's friends and family and their attorneys gathered for a prayer vigil. This journey lies in mind. I'm gonna let it shine. Tuesday night, people sang, gathered, and prayed for justice for Johnny Holloman. The public should expect to see exactly what we saw, murder. Since this murder. On Wednesday, the Fulton County District Attorney's Office says they'll release the body camera footage that shows former Atlanta police officer Karen Kimbrough tase Holloman during a traffic stop, which led to his death. I want them to see what happened to our father the night of August the 10th, and I also want it to be transparent. Holloman's daughter, Arnitra, saw the video in full for the first time on Tuesday. She says it's 17 minutes and 46 seconds she'll never be able to stop thinking about. We was anxious, we was nervous, we was numb. It confirmed what I already knew in my heart. He gave no violence towards this officer. He was moving in peace. He was. Attorney Mawali Davis, who's representing the Holloman family, says he encourages the public to take peaceful action once the footage is released. We don't want people just to go back to business as usual after Thanksgiving. We want them to organize, to do what organizers do, to get politicized and get engaged. Uh, that's the only way that this kind of atrocity can, can really be avoided going forward. I'm sad, I'm hurt, and again, I'm angry because this is my first holiday without my father, and he should be here. He should not be dead. And Atlanta police did fire Officer Kimbrough last month, but in a statement to Atlanta News First, his lawyer said in part, Mr. Holloman violently and unlawfully resisted Officer Kimbrough's lawful efforts to arrest him. The Atlanta police investigation confirmed Officer Kimbrough deployed his city-issued taser and used force in a manner consistent with his training and Georgia law. Right now, tonight, Kimbrough is not facing any charges in this case. Reporting live from the Fulton County Courthouse, Chelsea Bynum for Atlanta. Atlanta News First. Chelsea, thank you.